Hi, I start studying the Game of Life 6D application with the most simple rules I could imagine. And what I have found is, while it can be a little bit difficult to find simple rules which work at all, when you do, the results are usually quite interesting. And here you can see a simulation with only cells with one neighbors getting born. And the end result is quite interesting to look at. And here it seems to be starting to be evolving into some kind of a galaxy shape. I used a starting condition where there was a little bit rotation but still symmetry. And the end result is that you it looks a little bit like the simulation is rotating and the initial conditions are somewhat lingering in the simulation and the form is preserved. And this is now a four-dimensional simulation of the game of life. And as I said, the, with the most simple possible rules imaginable. Cells with one neighbor is getting born. And it's quite interesting to look at. I have also tried rules with one neighbor is getting born and cells with two neighbors surviving. And that is also quite interesting because the rule cells with two neighbors survive leaves some forms in the simulation which stay the same so it can be useful for preserving some kind of features in the simulation but these simple rules here now are quite nice because it seems to be not really staying the same at all and this is what happens when you use rule cells with one neighbors to get born because the changes in the simulation are going to be quite rapid and explosive. But that rule also has a problem which is that it can be difficult to find rules which work at all because most of the rules or starting seeds rather will repeat themselves or quite quickly die out. So it can be hard to find rules which actually work at all. But when you do they usually produce quite interesting results. I'm doing this simulation with the Game of Life 6D application which is available for Android, iOS and Windows and in the description you can see the links where you can get it for yourself. And now I'm running this on a Windows machine which is quite good for larger simulations or if you like to use the application with mouse. But otherwise the functionalities are exactly the same even if you are using iOS or Android. And now it kind of looks like this is trying to evolve into, into some kind of galaxy or a ball. It seems to be changing. Now it looks a little bit like galaxy with some rotation here. And on some other cycles it can be more like a ball or a sphere rather. And here in the center we can see that some kind of form is kinda preserving, but we know that that isn't really possible because uh, with this rule, preserving of features is very difficult to do. Although it is possible to some extent, I suspect that it's not really preserving at all. Oftentimes we see these rectangular shapes in the simulation, and for many rules, these are very good at keeping the simulation alive, especially if we are using rules with two or four, because they really like rectangular shapes. Now as well, there is some kind of shape evolving in the center, and around it, there is these other features. Now these features almost completely disappeared and evolved into something else. And in this simulation, it often seems that in the center, there is some kind of a pattern which is evolving mostly on its own. And then as the simulation grows larger, the features on the edge start to live their own lives as well. And already here we can see there's, a, there's so much complexity that it's impossible to predict what's going to happen next in the simulation. But as we know, in the start, there is only a very small group of cells where all of this 
expand it out from. Oftentimes for me, the most interesting parts of the simulation are in the start, because it's more understandable. So I'm going to restart the simulation so we can see just the beginning steps of the simulation. And the first pattern was this nucleus of a galaxy. And then after that, all the other shapes come out. And in the beginning, this simulation is really struggling even to stay alive. If I change the rules even a little bit or the starting conditions, it's going to die instantly. And I looked through maybe a dozen of different ones before I found one which was feasible at all. And even now, if I change it only a little bit, it's going to die after a few cycles. And this beginning is quite interesting because there are these different phases of the simulation where it seems to be quite different, but then it goes back to some previous phase. For example, this phase is something which comes out later in a different form, and also these more geometrical phases die out and come out later in a little bit changed form. And this is something that also happens with the rule of one neighborhood cells getting born, that it often tries to repeat itself and it often succeeds. But if you have just the right starting condition, then it's not going to be able to repeat itself, but it just keeps on evolving into different shapes. And as we know, this simulation is going to expand into a quite large one and it doesn't seem to be repeating at all. So this is quite interesting starting seed to go from. And we can see even now the starting seed here in some different more evolved form. So it's quite interesting that these shapes can stay in the simulation. Oftentimes it also happens that the beginning shape completely dies out and it turns into something else. But it's also possible for the shape to be preserved for the complete future of the simulation. These rotationary shapes we see here are always lingering in the simulation. They are not quite dying at any point. And we can see them in some shape or form in later phases of the simulation. But I think this is all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will be back with some new content later on.